It rattles around in our pockets every day, but how much do we actually notice it? Not the coins themselves, but the portrait of the Queen upon them. These are the Royal Mint's original cast designs for the four portraits used on every coin throughout the Queen's reign. From Gillick's 1953 coronation portrait, updated by Machen in 1968, to McClough's 1985 portrait, and finally in 1998, Ian Rank Broadley's design, the image on every coin in circulation today. And believe it or not, this 1901 lathe was pivotal in ensuring the detail on your one pence piece to your two pound coin today is of the highest standard. But one of the most difficult things actually in capturing a portrait of this nature is the fact that we've got such low heights of relief to work with. But believe it or not, it's things like eyelashes and eyebrows and individual hairs that gets to that sort of level of um, accuracy. Wrinkles? Wrinkles occasionally. Obviously the latest portrait has, is probably less flattering than earlier portraits, but it's more realistic. It shows the Queen as a real person, not just as a Queen. For a thousand years, the Royal Mint's been striking coins with the image of the monarch, flipping the direction they face with every accession. The Queen's latest image appears also on commemorative coins, even campaign medals. So as it's struck under the weight of 190 tonnes, the artwork has to be right. It's a good job then that someone rather close to the Queen was president of the very committee whose decision it is to select the artist. Very shortly after the Queen's accession, Prince Philip was appointed president of our Royal Mint Advisory Committee and he became a very active president and he led the discussion on the adoption of all those four portraits of the Queen that have appeared on, on her coins and guided the, the discussions with, with a very light touch. It's been 15 years since the last image of the Queen was commissioned, so perhaps there will be a fifth come September the 9th, 2015, when the Queen becomes the longest-serving monarch in British history. Paul Harrison, Sky News, The Royal Mint.